Let's bring in Senator Chris Dodd. He's joining us now live uh, from Washington. Uh, Senator Dodd uh, is a Democratic uh, senator, a former Democratic presidential candidate. Thanks very much for coming in. Uh, what do you think the Republicans, just as an outsider, you're a Democrat, what would be appropriate for them to do right now? Well, listen, I, uh, Wilt, there's no doubt in my mind what's going on here. It, it had this, the Bush administration not let this city drown, basically, three years ago. We wouldn't be talking about this. It's a major storm coming through, obviously, and a lot of concern about it. But it was the failure of the Bush administration's actions uh, three years ago that are, are creating all of this conversation, including the discussion about canceling or, or modifying the convention. So clearly that's what's going on here. And it's a, a reminder at a time when, uh, again, we're talking about leadership in the country, we're talking about a new direction for our nation, change in the country, uh, that, uh, that the Republican ticket here is one that really causes a lot of concern for people because this candidate has said over and over again he wants to have four more years like the eight years of the Bush administration. And, candidly, that's one of the, one of the marks of that administration, of course, was the, the, the total failure uh, to respond to a major American city in trouble. I'm going to get to the political story in a moment, but uh, based on everything you know, is the federal government right now, FEMA, the Department of Homeland Security, are they ready to deal with state and local authorities in Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, wherever this hurricane hits? Have they learned the lessons of Katrina? Well, I can only hope so, Well, but again, there's been a lot of stories since then. Now, we, we got new, uh, new leadership at FEMA, and my only prayer and hope would be that they're doing exactly what they should have been doing three years ago. And so that's, uh, that's my concern at this particular moment. Glad to see there's a lot of concern about this in action. But I'll repeat what I said to you a moment ago. Don't have any illusions about this. Had they not failed miserably three years ago in dealing with Katrina, we wouldn't be having this conversation today. Uh, John King is here and Gloria Borgia. They're here. They're joining me in the questioning. John? So I want to I jump in on that point. You honestly believe that John McCain, a man you know well, I know you disagree with him, that he would have a four-day political party, a balloon drop, a so what, I don't care convention, had Katrina not happened, even with Gustav bearing down on the coast of the United States and another tropical storm, Hannah, potentially following behind it. He would do it anyway and just have a party. You honestly believe that? Well, I think this, uh, clearly, you know, John was critical of the Bush administration. But there's a concern about whether or not this administration, the Bush administration, one whose policies he's endorsed, uh, will handle this appropriately. If there was a lot of confidence that those in authority today would respond to this as they should have, then frankly I think the convention would go on. There'd be concerns about it, they'd be talking about it, John, but they wouldn't be talking about canceling a convention.